And now, WJCL News, working for you. Alligator season has begun, and boy, oh boy, do we have the pictures to prove it. Gators are on the move in the low country. This week alone, six have been spotted in neighborhoods. And that's why local business leaders say this year it's going to be more active than before. Low Country Bureau Chief Larry Sproul is in the middle of the action today. Larry, judging by that picture behind you, <laughs> A, it looks like you made a new friend, and B, I think I can see your heart pounding out of your chest. I'd be scared too. I, I was I was terrified. I'm not even going to lie. I, I told my friends on Facebook, oh, it was a breeze, but no, I was, I was terrified. I respect you for being honest. I would have been running like a girl. And as you mentioned, we saw at least two alligators out there and he expects the amount of gator sightings to double this year. But there is one way to stay safe around them. Come on, gator. Come on. Come on, alligator. It's a language not too many people can understand. Try calling him. Joe Maffo with Critter Management has worked with a lot of animals and reptiles over the years. But catching alligators is his specialty. Mating season is kicking in, and we may have alligators at any place at any time. Maffo says alligator season is now until June, and gators are definitely on the move. This week alone, he has spotted six gators. We're hearing and seeing more alligators as we speak. And Tuesday wasn't any different. Maffo and his partner spotted two more gators in a pond in an Okatee subdivision, including this six-footer. They're strolling, they're looking for mates. They typically go in a straight line, and that's why we have confrontations where we actually run into alligators in garages and on driveways and such. You have people seeing alligators where they typically don't see them. Maffo says that's because these strong reptiles were here years before the neighborhoods. Larry, we certainly are. Every place we build a home takes more wildlife habitat away. In, in general. But he says one simple rule will keep everyone safe. Never approach an alligator. And if the children see one, tell their parents or run, get away from it. Now take a look at the second one they caught tonight. Maffo says this gator right here on your screen is 13 feet long. He also says there are protocols from the state of South Carolina that he follows every time he catches an alligator. Also, he says each gator is handled differently, but as humanely as possible. And I was not going to touch a 13 gator. Oh, I man. <laughs> I like how you superimposed your picture on that one behind you. Yes. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you know, that, one, that one was a nice one, but the 13 foot one, I was not. I I'm taking those down with my own bare hands. <laughs> Thanks, <Right>. man. <laughs> and it's not just.